Hello, my name is John for the Drive HUD team. In this video, we're going to cover how to create custom stats. I'm going to take you through a couple different examples and walk you through how to do this. It's fairly simple once you learn a couple of tricks, so let's get right down to it. We're going to go up here to the Filters drop down menu. We're going to click on Custom Stats. We'll get a pop up here that you'll likely get a message it will say please stop auto import before editing custom stats so we'll need to uh, stop the HUD from running and that's because all that data and current stats are in your cache and if you create a new stat DriveHUD wants to make sure that it rebuilds and it has everything available all at once so we'll need to close this pop-up click on the stop button here and then it'll rebuild and then we can just click on custom stats and get that pop-up again so over here on the left hand side we'll get a list of any existing custom stats that we've created. Anytime you create a custom stat it'll be available right away in reports, HUD stats, R&Ds, anywhere that DriveHO2 uses a stat. You just simply search for it by the name that you gave it and you'll be able to locate it and, and add it to any of those things. If there's a stat that you created and you want to remove you can just click on it and click remove. In this video, I'm going to go through and create a couple of examples. So I'm going to click Add, and then we'll get the section on the right-hand side here that goes through the details of the new stat. We'll want to give it a name. This uh, box here for expression is the expression part of the generally the calculation that you're going to create. It's usually going to be one thing divided by another. Um, which is decided by the data type here, which defaults to percentage. That, again, is usually one uh, numerator divided by some denominator. And I'm going to walk through what that looks like and, and what that is. Um, it can be a multiplier of sorts, but generally um, most of the percentages are one thing divided by another. The other options you have here are number. This will just return a raw number if you want to do something like stack size or something of that sort. And this last one, money, it'll return as an integer if you have you know multiple decimal places that you're creating something. You just want to do like um, a net one, for example. Um, you can use the money option. But like I said, most of the time you're going to be doing a percentage. So we're going to do um, a sample example of a fold to CBET single raise pot out of position. So uh, fold to CBET single raise pot out of position. And in the expression box, um, Drive02 has a built-in helper that will kind of walk you through what to do. Um, the percentage, like I said, as the default expression, you always want to start with count. So you're telling a drive hood 2 that you're going to be counting this information, and then you're going to have uh, parentheses and the expression within it. So kind of the key main thing to remember is put in count. Once you start typing, you'll get this little helper down here. I'd recommend clicking on it because it'll continue to feed you more prompts and, and kind of the format of what you want to do going forward it's a little bit of a helper well actually helps a lot so click on count then you're gonna get your parentheses so I'm gonna type in con just continuation bet and then I can s kind of search for what I want from there I already know what the expression is so this is just for um, example sake so you can see I'm already getting a list of any stat that has continuation bet in it in this case I want folded to flop continuation bet so I could go down here and folded to flop continuation, but and there it is. Now, if I already knew that's what I wanted, I could just type that out, but in this case, so I'll select it. And now I'm going to click in the helper again, equals, yes. You know, if I want to do the opposite of that, clearly I select no, I'm going to do yes, and um, I'm going to be doing a single raise pot. So again, if I didn't know what the actual expression was, I could just start with single raise pot. And there's going to be a ton of expressions in here. In this case, it would be is single raise pot. And so I find that there. And this is going to be yes equals yes. And I'm going to do flop out of position equals yes. Flop out of position, there it is, equals yes. 
and that's the end of my first part. Now, this is my numerator, so I'm saying this is the scenario that I want to look for. Anytime someone full do a flop continuation bet, it was a single raised pot, and the person was out of position. So then I'm going to divide. And then again, we start with count. And essentially, it's just going to be all of the same scenarios as we just put in here. So, except I'm going to be doing it from a facing perspective. So usually the denominator is always going to be all of these expressions similar, um, but facing. Or at least in this case, the, the main one, which is the continuation bet. So this is going to be facing flop continuation bet. equals yes and then the particulars beyond that single raise pop single raise pot and out of position are going to be the same so equals yes and is single raise pot equals yes and oops lost my helper and uh, flop out of position equals yes. And that's my entire expression for that. So I can just save that again. I can name it to whatever I want. And just to reiterate, um, to make this 100% clear, when you're going through here, the main thing we're looking at is, uh, did this person full to a flop continuation bet and then the particulars of is it a single raise pot is it a three bet pot are they in or out of position we have those things in here they carry over is single raise pot flop out of position the same here the only difference is we want to divide and look at the total opportunities so how many times did this person face a flop continuation bet and how many times did they fold so that's this part divided by the facing so we're going to click save here and then we'll get that stat that'll come up here in the custom stats. If we full, just close this out and we right click on this report, we can immediately look for our new stat, fold to CBET, single raise pot, out of position, there it is, and This is a stat that already existed in the system, but we can just add it here and click apply. And then you can see it instantly shows up there on our report. Um, let's go ahead and create another custom stat since that was so much fun. And click the custom stat pull down here. Click add. This time we're gonna do called flop C bet and three bet pot. Oops, out of position. Okay, so if you remember, again we're doing percentage as default. We start with count. We'll let our helper definitely again use the helper to make things a lot easier. So first thing we're calling a flop continuation bet. So this is called flop. And there it is, continuation bet equals yes. And we're in a three bet pot, so we're gonna put in three bet pot, and there it is, equals yes. And out of position on the flop, so flop out of position equals yes all right and now we're going to go ahead and divide starting with count and again same as before called flop continuation bet this time we want to know how many times we're facing that so facing flop continuation bet equals yes and now we're going to our particulars three bet pot and three bet pot equals yes and flop out of position equals yes and 
and that's it there we go so we're gonna save that and we get it over here go ahead and get crazy and add it to this report too call flop there it is so we'll add that right there click apply spin this out there's our new step call flop c bet and three bet pot out of position so simple right um you know, uh, I think the biggest thing, again, is just make sure when you're doing it, most of these are going to be the percentage, in, you know, um, calculations. So just make sure you start with count. Um, on our website in a <clears throat> knowledge base article, there's a complete list of all the most common terms that are used, what DriveHUD uses the most in order to build its stats. And so it ranks them by... Um, the number of times they're used and list them. I'm going to show that page to you real quick so you can get an idea of you can go there also for a reference if you get stuck but like I said start with part of what you want um, for the stat remember the particulars what are you looking for does it need to be out of position three bet pot four bet pot and just make sure you're typing out the whole word there's there's no abbreviations in this case so uh, let's check out that KB article real quick so I can give you a couple more pointers. This is the KB article. Probably if you're viewing this from the KB article, you already know that this exists, but if you're viewing this from YouTube or another source, you can just simply go to the support at the top of the DriveHUD2 page, click in custom stat from the knowledge base section, and you will get this article. So this just walks you through also how to do it um, in detail gives you a couple more examples um, to work from and then here like I said the most commonly used terms these are ones that DriveHUD uses itself to build stats um, it give you a, a description of what those are and all of the um, how it's spelled out to use so if you want to reference that and then if you go all the way down here we have complete list of terms. This is every single one that's available. And just um, some of them have some definitions, some of them don't. It kind of depends like whether if they're super clear or not. Um, but like I said, kind of the, the easiest thing for me at least to do is start typing in part of what I'm looking for. And usually I can find it within the, the helper system. Um, and if not, you can also search this article and you should be able to um, find something that will be able to reference your lead or if all else fails you can always contact support they are near 24 7 and always happy to help and um, yeah so this should get you started give you enough examples again there's a couple more examples in this kb article and yeah so hope that helps and good luck creating your custom stats and good luck at the tables